Hi guys, Taze here. Welcome back to episode 11 of New Toulouse. In today's episode, as you can probably see, we are starting the airport. So uh, it's going to be a pretty big project, probably the biggest project of this series. Um, I'm not sure how many episodes episodes it'll be, uh, but I'm assuming like two or three, uh, most likely three. Uh, but we're starting off here with uh, just putting on down the runways, which is sort of a like a cross layout. Uh, they cross each other on a, a 90 degree angle. And uh, yeah, so the reason for that is uh, I took some inspiration or I've taken a lot of inspiration from the Louis Armstrong airports in New Orleans, um, which is pretty obvious because it's located in New Orleans. Um, so taking a lot of inspiration for that one and they sort of have a cross layout. Um, <laughs> the only thing is that the runways actually don't cross each other, uh, but they're, they're, I guess, very close to crossing each other, but I didn't want to do it exactly as it is in real life, so I kind of did my own thing on it, and um, I ended up with this layout. Now, I'm not sure if it is actually realistic, um, but to be honest, I, I don't know, I'm, I don't really feel um, like I want to do it. 100% realistic, uh, like in terms of if that actually would make sense to put the runways in that direction. I just wanted to put them there because I, I thought it looked good and um, I, I couldn't really be bothered to do more research on how they actually would be um, placed out. So, so yeah, but uh, the reason I'm not doing any like markings and stuff on the runways is because this episode is uh, mainly focused on making the airport terminals uh, for the whole airport and uh, yeah this leads me into this uh, which is just an overview of the airport uh, in New Orleans uh, so this is where I'm taking inspiration from uh, all of those terminals there um, so so yeah but um, we will focus on like more of the airport layouts and putting down markings all sort of stuff uh, in upcoming episodes um, as I said, it's just going to be the first episode of the airport, uh, which we're going to do the airport terminals. And uh, now I'm going in here and uh, trying to connect uh, two roads to one road and then have they, them split off to two roads again. Uh, and one of them will be leading up on the higher elevation of the um, airport terminal, which is uh, pretty sure that's where you drop off people. Um, I think that's usually the case and you um, pick up, or the arrivals are, um, I guess, downstairs. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that is how it is. So, um, yeah, I decided to do um, that type of layout, which is pretty common amongst um, at least uh, American airports, which I've seen. Um, for example, uh, Fort Lauderdale, which uh, was the airport I went to when I was in the US, um, um, I guess, what is it, like three months ago? Um, Fort Lauderdale has a similar layout to that, um, like have a, an elevated road which goes above where you uh, drop off and uh, a road, I guess, downstairs where you, uh, um, I guess, arrive. So uh, yeah, I took some inspiration from that airport, uh, which kind of makes sense. And also, as I've said, a lot of inspiration from the Louis Armstrong airport. Um, wanted to mention which uh, assets and stuff I'm using, uh, mostly for this airport. These terminals, which I'm putting down at the moment, are from uh, Vastmere 22. And uh, I would say that his stuff is probably the best uh, for doing an airport in City Skylines. Um, it's really useful with all these different terminal buildings and uh, I guess concourses and stuff. Uh, you can really do a lot, of, a lot with it. Um, for example, I did, uh, we will get to it pretty soon, uh, I did a, uh, well, I think my <laughs> chair sounded a lot there, but yeah, sorry for that. But yeah, I'm getting into this little round concourse building, uh, I think there is a better name for it, but I'm actually not sure what that is. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, so getting into this, and I really enjoy, uh, or I really enjoyed using these, um, uh, I guess, terminal buildings, because uh, as I said, you can really do a lot with them, and um, yeah, just had a lot of fun making this little airport uh, layout with the terminals, and um, it's sort of inspired um, by the Louis Armstrong airport as well, especially this uh, round concourse here. Um, that is a similar thing in the real uh, in the real one. Um, so wanted to quickly touch on this that New Orleans airport is actually <laughs> under on construction 
uh, for like a big new uh, terminal. And I actually didn't know that until today, um, which I, I actually went in to the Lou Armstrong Airport websites and I saw that they are uh, building a totally new, um, I guess, uh, terminal uh, on the north north side of the airport, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I didn't know that, but uh, I will probably, or yeah, I, I will stick to this side. I want to uh, another side of the airport with more terminals. Uh, I think I, think I want to keep it like this. Uh, but we will definitely put down cargo stuff and um, that also leads me into another question which or another question people might have um, and that is if i'm gonna put down bigger planes um, in this airport because as you've probably seen i've only put down like 737s and brayers and a320s um, and the answer for that is no for the passengers uh, or for the passenger airplanes because new orleans in real life don't have many um, I guess large aircraft. Um, I, I'm pretty sure they have like um, some 767 uh, and some other stuff, uh, but they don't have a lot of them. Uh, so I decided to just go with these small ones. Uh, but the biggest plane uh, we will get is probably the 757, which is um, which I'm gonna use for the um, the cargo planes, uh, for example, DHL, FedEx, UPS. Um, cause, uh, yeah, so that would be the biggest airplane in this, um, in this airport. Um, so, so yeah, um, as I said, using a lot of stuff by Vasmir, um, uh, for example, these, um, lines here on the ground are by Vasmir, and, um, uh, it's the first time I'm using these, and they're really great, and I actually took some time until I realized that they were a smaller, uh, or I guess a shorter version, um, of them. Uh, which uh, made it possible to create more smoother um, turnings, I guess. Um, so that's why some of them might look a little bit crooked, uh, because I haven't hadn't um, hadn't found those smaller ones yet. Um, but I'm pretty happy how all of those uh, what are they called taxiway lines or whatever. Pretty happy how all of that turned out. And I'm not doing ma much detail around these gates. I'm just putting down these. Um, decal things, I can't remember what they are called. Um, but yeah, I'm not doing much detail in this episode uh, with that. Um, that will be in some of the other episodes. Um, as I said uh, many times in this uh, already, uh, I'm focusing on the terminals uh, and just getting the overall feel on the airport. So I wanted to quickly tune in and explain my thinking around uh, this whole road layout uh, in the airport. So I wanted to basically uh, make it feel like it's pretty complicated. So <clears throat> that might sound weird, uh, but um, from in my experience when I've been to airports, especially like the first time, uh, one example of that is uh, when I went to the airport in Miami. I felt like the <laughs> roads. Uh, and the whole, uh, yeah, I guess road layouts was pretty, pretty complicated. Um, even though I started to understand it later on, but um, but yeah, I wanted to create the sort of feeling that it's kind of complicated, even though it really isn't. Um, I don't know if it, if it makes sense, but that was my sort of thinking with uh, all of these roads just going in all sorts of directions and stuff. Um, so I hope that kind of makes sense. Uh, let me know if it really doesn't. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I wanted to quickly mention that and uh, now I'll just let you continue to listen to some music.
So right now I'm making the parking for the whole airport and uh, I'm using the parking lots by King Leno instead of uh, the parking lot roads which are uh, fairly new in the workshop. I just decided that um, or I just thought that the ones by King Leno would just be easier to use in an area like these or like this. Um, but uh, I'm actually using these small parking lot roads just for uh, like normal streets around here. And um, I really like the look of that. And I got some inspiration from uh, $2.20, which uh, he did he did sort of the same thing, uh, but for his like industrial area. And um, I think they look really good to use for normal roads as well. But uh, I really like the look of these uh, parkings by King Leno. So um, I am um, pretty happy how that turned out. And I also put down a darker parking lot, which you can see there in the upper right part of the screen. Um, but uh, the reason for that is because I thought that um, they would have maybe uh, made a total like brand new uh, parking lots and which would have obviously had darker asphalt. Um, so I just thought that would be a like cool feature to just add a like more newer parking lot. And uh, making this little like area with trash and dumpsters and stuff because um, I didn't really know what to put here on this weird uh, angle. So <clears throat> decided to make this little. Um, I guess a lot here with a lot of dumpsters and, and stuff and I actually didn't have a prop for a um, garbage truck so that kind of sucked but uh, I might have to see if I can download something like that but I just put down this little uh, van or whatever here this small truck instead um, which I which I think turned out pretty well but uh, I'd like to ask if you guys have any suggestions for what I should call this airport um, which you've probably heard before in this episode, the real one in New Orleans called Louis Armstrong. So uh, if, we, if we can get some name like that, it doesn't have to be similar to Louis Armstrong, but just some, some name for this airport and like an, an IATA code. Uh, for example, uh, LAX, uh, which is Los Angeles Airport um, or International. So if we could get some suggestions for that, uh, it would be really cool. So like a name and a, a code like that with three letters. So if you have any ideas, make sure to post those in the comments or if you'd like to post them on Twitter, it doesn't really matter. Um, but uh, yeah, so also wanted to ask you guys what you think of the new intro. Uh, I know I've changed intros uh, quite a lot in this series. I think this is like my third intro. Um, but I think I'm gonna stick to this one because I put some more efforts into um, making this one and I think I want to keep the same cinematics uh, in every single video instead of changing them up every single time. So I, I just really am a lot more happy with this intro and I'm pretty sure I will stick to this one. Uh, but I'd just like to know what you guys think about it, uh, if you have any opinions. Uh, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick to this one uh, for probably the rest of the series. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I'm just putting down all these fences which I recently downloaded and they're really good because they have a... Uh, some gate props, which are uh, like the exa exact same fence, but just a gate instead, which makes it really easy to um, yeah, obviously make gates because they match with the actual fence. So that's really useful. I'm still using them here, and it turns out great when I'm when I'm doing this little entrance to this um, lot here, uh, which I'll I'm I'm just gonna put containers um, in this little area which I'm working on at the moment. And uh, again, I didn't really know what to put here, so I decided to make some weird, uh, like industrial lots or whatever. So uh, yeah, but I'm fairly happy how that turned out. But um, as of right now, I don't have much more to say for this episode, so I will continue working on the airport uh, for like the next episodes. So if you enjoy, uh, or if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to leave a like. And also, if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe if you want more videos like this. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much gonna do it for this episode. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And uh, until next time, have a great day and bye-bye.